I was going to, yeah. No, there's ground staff and that up there. All right. You can't fly over the stadium. So welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're here in Reading, taking a look at the Select Car Leasing Stadium, home of the Royals. Reading Football Club Stadium, opened in 1998 as the Medeski Stadium. We moved to RG2 from our previous location at Elm Park, bringing a new era to Reading Football Club's prestigious history. Opened early 1998-99 season, a total cost of 50 million. It didn't start as plain sailing on the pitch and the club's early days at the Medeski Stadium were spent in Division 2. But since then, the Royals have enjoyed a dramatic upturn in fortunes, gaining promotion to Division 1 in 20... 2002 and reaching the Premier League for the first time in 2006. In 2021, our home became the Select Car Leasing Stadium, as the locally based business committed to a 10 year partnership with the Royals. Right. So we find ourselves down at the back, car park, hotel car park as well, got a hotel here, V O C O, which is that. Part there. So we can also see down at the back a bit of a training ground, training centre. So we'll just have a little look around on the bike, cover as much ground as we can. Oh, this is fenced up. Okay. So the use of re the use of mobile devices are restricted and no recording is allowed at any time. And we do have some kids over there. So let's see what's down this area. Uh, we know the pitch is going to look fantastic with the drone. It's just a case of seeing all we can see on the ground first and finding somewhere to launch the drone from. So those that support Reading Football Club will have been here many times before. Obviously, I have not. Oh, I've got the fan store to my right there. And what looks to be some sort of reception. The nicest part I've seen so far. Now we've got some gates, gate three, gate four. Macron ticket office there to the right. We've got lots of emergency service vehicles over there. Let's quickly show you those. Most of them are fire, I do believe. It's a nice vehicle, isn't it? Fire, fire, fire. So is there some sort of training exercise going on at the moment in here? We've got a mobile MRI unit from Medispace there as well. We have a bed on the left. It's unusual. DHL, doing a delivery or a collection. Family zone, gate six. And a bit of a maintenance yard where yes we can see onto the pitch so let's get the zoom camera out from here the best view we've seen so far it looks like they're doing some repairs to the pitch got some lights on there No, it's not every day you see inside like that, is it? And over here we have some sort of uh, pitch maintenance gear. A 
and then we'll pretend to know what they are. And then some grass boxes for the lawn mowers, because they're Honda, etc. Yeah, a nice little maintenance compound that we've found here in the corner. Is that some people over there? Let's have a look. Yeah, one of the conference rooms being used at the moment. This zoom is amazing, isn't it? All the way from here. Let's see what else we can find. So, the John Medejski stand? I know I'm not pronouncing that correct there. Loads of catering trailers down here. And a closed gate. Oh, we've got an open gate there. Match day staff entrance. Cool. So loads of open gates, but no movement at all on the outside, really. We noticed a few children at the back where the training center was, so we'll avoid that. But now it's all about finding a suitable place to get David up from. Oh, we are players, guests, and the media. So as always, we've checked on drone assist. There are no flight restrictions in this area. It is not a match day. The DJI software has asked me to unlock the zone, which I have done by putting a phone number in and it instantly unlocks. So the Reading Football Club Select Car Leasing Stadium. I was going to, yeah. No, there's ground staff and that up there. All right. You can't fly over the stadium. Private land. Who are you, say? Me, I'm the stadium manager. Oh, right. Just happened to be passing Just by. Just happened to be passing by, yeah. Right, well, with all due respect, um, there's no restriction here at the moment. Right. I know you mentioned it's private land, but I'll be in the airspace. Yeah. Which you don't own. So what course. if that fails and comes down and hits one of our grounds? My insurance would kick in. Do you know that number on the top? Yeah. That will link back to me. Okay. Have you got the full license and everything for it? Yeah, that's the license number that's the license on the drone. Number. Links back to me, I have insurance. It weighs 249 grams, right. so it's very lightweight. Yeah. Some birds weigh more. That's fine. And what, I what don't you, intend to go over. What, I, are, you, what I, are you doing with the footage then? YouTube. I do a ground tour. I've just had a little cycle around. Right. And then I do a drone shot. Uh -huh. A 20 minute video gets put onto my YouTube channel. So what about uh, our corporate people and that what are in the boxes and stuff like that? What about them, sorry? So any of their signage and anything like that, would that be visible? Yeah, anything that I can see will be captured by the camera. That's great for them if they want advertisement. <coughs> yeah, I know, but if they're, they're, if they're doing private functions and stuff in there where they're doing tutorials and that to their stuff. What, you mean in Windows? Yeah, oh, I won't be going into windows. I'm going to be above roof height at all times. Okay. You right. see this highest point here? Yeah. I need to be higher than that. Yeah. And I'm going to go around. Yeah. Just, it's an amazing place, mate. Oh, yeah, I know that. But uh, there's, there's certain... Whatever Google Maps has seen, yeah. I'll be getting an uh, up-to-date version of that, basically. Okay. Now, I've just been round. You've got one of the doors open. We can see some sort of lighting onto the pitch. Yeah, Is that light. to help it that's grow? The, that's the lighting rigs, yeah, what, they, what the ground's been put on. Obviously, they weren't out when the, when the Google plane was done, no. And that looks amazing, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Did you know the plane was going that over that was, day? <clears throat> the, no, we didn't. Now, that was Time probably right. that is pre-season, after the pitch had been re reseeded and restructured, because there's no lines or nothing on it. So yeah, timed it right, didn't they? That's it? what it would have been, yeah. yeah. 
So yeah, it's so, very quiet here today. As long as there's no crowds of people, then I can't do it, of course. Yeah, of course. Because they can't move out the way if the drone did fall. Yeah. But these are so advanced nowadays. If the battery goes low or it loses signal, it comes back to here and it lands so, itself. Right. So you're the actual okay. stadium manager? I am, yeah. I'm taking what? over from the guy who's been here 25 years at the moment, so he's retiring tomorrow. Do you mean so, the team manager? No, or? not the team manager, the actual, just in charge of the stadium and everything right. runs in the stadium. So. Right. Facilities cool. wise, yeah. right, just everything. <laughs> everything yeah. to do anything with that goes wrong to do with the grounds? Yeah, so anything, all the, all the structural works. And, so all council, all safety advisory, right. some people and all that will come. We have to show around and things like that. So and if they find anything, they don't like, um, they're sort of there to help you, aren't they? They're not well, punishing yeah, no, you on they, the spot, they, are they? They try not to, but if there is any serious things, they can reduce the ground capacity and things like that. So if there's any issues. And yeah, safety is paramount, isn't it? Have you got a good record, have you, for safety? Oh, yeah, yeah, over there. No major accidents ever happened here? Yeah. Get a few trips and falls and things like that, because it's built on a landfill site, you see? Is it? So, you get a lot of movement, you'll notice, around, around the actual stadium, with block paving and all that, it's all different heights, and right. sort of sloping away, and that's it. it's all movement over the years, it's been a yeah. So, I've just noticed you've got loads of drop curbs and it's great for wheelchairs yeah. and stuff all yeah, around. Yeah, all that stuff, yeah, yeah. because we have a we have a special um, we have a special um, rate well, we have a special ranking where people come round and actually do look into the actual how many disabled bays you've got, how many yeah. access vehicle access and things yeah. like that you've got as well. So yeah, I've just done a little uh, tour around, it looks spot on to me. You right there? How many are you, of you are there, three? For a drone? Well, we're all in the car at the same time. Right, okay. Is it a um, quiet day, is it? <laughs> Who called you? Um, Virgin Media. Virgin we're Media, just outside yeah. of there. Yeah, I'm visiting interesting places today while I'm in the area. Okay. I do some filming from the ground, yeah. and then I take the drone up and I publish it on YouTube. I've told that to Virgin Media. I'll just mention that to yourself. He's the manager of this place. I'm a stadium, okay. I'm a stadium manager, so. He raised some concerns about insurance and safety. So I've just yeah. allayed him. It's a 249 gram drone, so the law allows these to fly as close as you want to buildings. Heavier drones have to stay 150 meters away. And the operator ID, which is there, that's a legal requirement. Okay, so if it yep. did fall and the, didn't have that and it's damaged, you don't know who to claim from, do you? So certain things have to be followed. And I offered the Virgin Media guy an explanation. I had the law on the phone. I said, do you want me to show you the law, that okay. everything's okay? Right. And he says, no, I don't care about your YouTube channel. I don't oh, right. care about the law. <laughs> and he just started to be rude. So I goes, look, mate, I'm stepping back from this. And so he you, decided to call you. I mean, you can see you've got the legal requirements and stuff with that anyway. anyway. And communication is the most important part. Yeah. We've been chatting for a good couple of minutes yeah, now. Yeah, that's fair it enough. might be the same sort of thing. He's concerned, you know, about um, insurances and whatever. So he's reported it to us. Yeah, it's just um, what the foot what the footage actually shows yeah. because yeah. we have lots of people in on functions. Yeah. They do a lot of meetings and that in the windows. Mm. They put in all training they're doing a lot of training courses and putting a lot of information up on the on the window on the screens yeah. and that in the windows. So if none of that is visible yeah. on the YouTube channel then yeah. that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. We, we don't zoom through windows but people with wrong intentions yeah, yeah. can use drones yeah. for things like that. Yeah because so you're right had, to be concerned. We have had people parking in the car park over there and sending drones up and they're on match coming, day. They're coming match days yeah, that's coming right. down is even during the week coming down like in, inside the stadium looking in the windows and things like that. So, yeah. Oh, to, yeah, yeah. to get secrets? Yeah. So, um, Your next plan of action <laughs> on the pitch. Yeah. Especially what's going on with the club at the moment. Well, Everyone's after an inside story. So. I filmed the Leicester City training ground once and if another club was doing it, there are rules there. Yeah. There is legislation that oh, yeah, prevents yeah, other clubs from spying. Yeah. But because I'm not affiliated to any other club and my intentions, I'll, I've told you, I'll always be above that highest point there. So that rules out any windows, yeah? yeah. So there we go. Oh, the law allows it. Yeah, should, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're fine. It's, it's not too happy. We've gone yeah. through it, boys. It's just what footage is. But, but I might take the guys' YouTube channel address and then yeah. Yeah. 
and we can uh, just have a view of it. And if we've got any concerns from there, I'm sure we can. I'm sure we can contact you and go through. It. You can feel free to have the footage, <laughs> and that's what I say to Virgin Media as well. He says you are not allowed to publish any image of my building without going through us, and we will take legal action against you. Because, mate, it's only for YouTube. It's only a 20-minute video that I'm making of interesting places around industrial estates. It's what I focus on, industrial estates. That's fair enough. I don't care about your YouTube channel. You're not allowed to do it, and I want you to go away, he says. I mean, some people do get like that. And as, as, as Best like not to say oh, that, because it's all being on the camera now, so and yeah. he will watch it. Some but, people do get like that. And as I said, it could be that there's all sorts going on. It could be meetings, it could be things that there are other people to see. Um, as you said, no, you're not going through the windows. Just, no, no, no. Right. I'll have to have a chat with them first, just having a chat with them. If you do that, my friend, if I go on, people say I'm provoking them because you could have just done it and left them alone. They probably wouldn't have even noticed. So I used to go into reception. I says, look, if you see me outside, don't panic. I'm just a YouTuber making a 20 minute video about the place, about the business. Well, why? No, we don't want you to do that. And then you sort of, then the big directors waste their time. They start yeah. escalating it up to them. And they come out and it's all that time wasted, my time wasted. It don't work. It's obviously not flying in a restricted area. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. Sure. I've just, I've just checked. It's, 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 it's a good point. I mean, we're, we're all learning a bit from the chat, right? Yeah. On Drone Assist. There's this, there's this app called Drone Assist. Oh, okay. Is this the one with the map home. where it tells you where you can and can't? Yeah, so when you zoom out, you'll start to see red areas there. Oh, okay. So yep. there must be something in there. Let's see what that is. Yeah, Burfield. What's that mean to you? So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> there's something yeah, yeah. going on in that. there to do with yeah. explosives so not, or something. Will it not let yeah. you fly the drone in that area? Or no. How does that work then? No, and there's <laughs> another one there, look. So whatever's happening there, <laughs> older mass, and there's something happening there where drones are a big no-no. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. if it's a red zone, it won't even let no, you fly. Yeah. Some drones, though, can be overridden, like hacked. Obviously, yeah. this one is not. I'm legit. But if people do want to use drones for wrong reasons in prisons, you know, then it's definitely something to look out yeah. for. But it shouldn't affect the people that are doing lawful activities, you know? Yeah, of course. No, no. Well, I'll, I'll just double check with our commercial department because like, some we've got a lot of uh, sponsors and that with their... Well, what, free advertising around. for your sponsors? Well, yeah, cool. I know, but some of them, some of them might not want it. But no, honestly, just, dash cams, anybody taking photographs from the outside, anything that you can see, you're in the UK, you're allowed to... But people around, people mention homes and stuff. You wouldn't like it if I was filming your home. Well, there is an expectation of privacy there because you could be getting changed, children in paddling pools, stuff like that. But commercial, I only do commercial areas. Because we, we have the issue of, over our training ground, you see? Because we have young kids, yes. under eights, under well, nines. I've just noticed in the, the far corner. And all that, we need to be for that. In the far corner right now, you've got some children uh, doing training. Right, we'll be going. Yeah. Um, obviously, no, no. If, you, if there are any problems, just no, 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 all, okay? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. All right. Take Make care. Sure. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah. yeah, yeah in the far we, corner, we, you've got we've children. Had it, yeah, we've had it over at the training ground where they're hovering over the, the matches and that in the, um, at the weekends, and um, they've just had to take the kids all, all into the changing rooms until it's gone. And yeah. Things like that. So, I've already made a note that I'm not going to go near the corner because there's children there. I'll literally just be circling around here, yeah, no. 10 minutes in the air, you won't even notice. And that channel that you just noticed there, that you just took the yeah. key ring for, in a week's time, you'll see my video here yeah. of the place. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thank you. What was your name, by the way? Graham. Graham. Nice Hi. to meet you, mate. So that was Graham and the local police in the unmarked vehicle. They actually attended the Virgin Media call. Wow. But obviously, once you start talking to them, Take they realise that they're dealing with somebody who's sticking to the rules. And there's nothing to worry about. So anyway, the Select Car Leasing Stadium. Let's have a look at you there. So there we are up at 80 meters and we got a lovely shot inside and it does look much different to when Google went over. You've got some markings and you've also got those lights. 
that are helping the grass grow. <laughs> Simple as that. All that seating there. Select car leasing. You've got some free advertisement from me today. The manager says, oh, I'm not sure whether the sponsors will like you seeing their advertisement. <laughs> Do you realize what you're saying, mate? And over in the corner up there is that training center where we know a few children are, so we're not only gonna attempt to zoom over there. The hotel at the back, just there. But the main focus really was this, wasn't it? They always say we've got people working. Can you see? Oh yes. But apart from him, no other person. They look like little dots, don't they? You can hardly see them. There's somebody walking over there. So that was it. That's all we needed to see. The lovely green grass and the stadium here That's for Reading Altitude Football Reach. Club. There's the whole site in one shot. Let's do a 360 degree photo for Google Maps and move on. That was the Select Car Leasing Stadium for Reading Football Club. So that was Reading Football Club. The manager was absolutely fine there, wasn't he? And so were the police staff, to be fair. I don't think I gave them a chance to speak. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very surprised that they attended that one from the previous video at Virgin Media. So, Reading Football Club, founded in 1871, the oldest, well, one of the oldest football clubs in England. Didn't join the Football League until 1920. Nicknamed the Royals, it's derived from Reading's location in the Royal County of Berkshire. And Reading's record win is a staggering 10-2 victory against Crystal Palace, September 1946. So that's enough facts about Reading Football Club. The location of the DJ Audits key ring on this video is up there, look. So if you are one of the first people to watch the video and you do want a key ring, well, good luck with that. And he was concerned about us advertising the sponsors too much. <laughs> oh dear. You hear it all, don't you? You hear it all. But yes, another video complete. My first football stadium. We have done the Leicester City training ground, but we've not done a stadium before and it was very easy to unlock. So we might do some more. Let me know in the comments which stadium should we do. It's got to be near an industrial estate though, really, hasn't it? <laughs> so we can do all the rest on the bike. So if you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye bye for now.